and good day today we're having a look at this it's an air mouse 2.4 uh, gigahertz motion sensing air mouse we'll have a quick look at the box it shows you that it works with android windows mac os and linux and uh, let's have a look and see what's in here There's a seal it looks like. Yep. Ah, oh, there we go. We have some instructions. I'll come back to them. First impressions. Not too bad. A lot better than I was expecting. Well, we'll pop some batteries in it. Have a bit of a read of the instructions and see if we can get this thing going it comes with a little dongle you also need AAA batteries which are not supplied so two AAA batteries feels a bit thin the plastic but when it's together it's not too bad Now we're going to try and program this little red button here and I'm going to use the autofocus button off this one so I'm going to hold down the red button, press the TV for a few seconds, release the red, hold the button again for a few seconds until it starts to flash, hold the controls together, press that button there, take my finger off it, hold it again and with a bit of luck once I press that red button again that should be it, it should be now locked into that spot so we press the TV button because we're finished with it and try again see if the program's worked and there you go so that's that's programmed nicely so that's how you program these little buttons a bit fiddly but it does work Another interesting thing I've uh, learnt too, you can program a completely different remote control with the same device. I've actually got mine set up to turn off my Bluetooth speakers by pressing the green button, which I find pretty, uh, pretty impressive. And that's just simply going through the same process, but with a different remote, which we'll do in a second. And I've got the remote for the audio and the little air mouse. And again, same sort of process. Hold down the green, press the TV button, take your finger off, wait until it starts flashing, which it is, and we go to the Sony remote, and press the button, this takes sometimes a couple of times to do it, and you can see it's actually working there, pressing the green button, and then we press the TV button again, and that's it, I can now control my... Uh, Bluetooth speakers with it so this is quite an amazing little device this it's uh, really really good I'm very happy with it I'll uh, show you the device working in a second I'll swing the camera around and uh, yeah what more can I say now this little air mouse works brilliantly you just press the little button there and that turns the mouse on and then, as you can see on the screen it's working quite nice we'll go to the browser use it click on it and uh, go into the search bar and it pops up down the bottom here so we'll just press H just for the heck of it 
and you can see it popped up the top there. Now you've also got this little button here. Now that turns a backlight on. So we'll turn off my camera light and you should be able to see all the little buttons in here lit up nicely. So you can just simply press the buttons and they appear straight up onto the screen there. And you can flip the other side. We'll use the little cursor again and we'll come down to, well, we'll come down to there and we'll do the search, whatever that is. Oh, okay, car scratch repair. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, there you go. So this little unit is working perfectly. You cannot fault it. I, I really do enjoy it. The volume works as well. You can sort of increase or decrease. Now this is actually controlling my uh, Sony speakers and I'll show you that in a few seconds. Now we'll increase the volume. As you can see there it's going up. We will decrease it. And as you can see it's going down. We'll turn it off. This is the um, button that I pre-programmed earlier. And you can see it goes off and we will turn it back on again. I'll wait for that to finish. There it is. Now I'll click it. And we're loading up again. So I can control my Sony speakers with this particular air mouse and I can control my projector all at the same time. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now hopefully you've enjoyed watching my video. Yeah, consider giving me a thumbs up, thumbs down, either way doesn't matter. Perhaps you've got a different opinion of this unit. Perhaps you've got a, a bad experience. If so, leave a comment below. I'd appreciate it. I'll have a bit of a read. And again, if you're positive about this thing and absolutely love them, and got one and very happy with it. Again, leave a comment and I'll be happy with that as well. And with a bit of luck, I might even get to see you on the very next video, whatever it happens to be. All the very best till then. Bye for now.